Welcome to Hanwha. Kesu 3 is a submarine program only with the nine program submarine. Three is uh, under construction, already two on deliver. Uh, batch 2 program we are currently building it right now. We are expecting to deliver it 27 and 28 accordingly. There's a uh, much difference with batch 1 and batch 2. One is uh, batch 2 has a lithium battery to uh, carry out uh, long endurance uh, capability. And also we added the more VLS system, which is uh, from the certain number to certain number, which is I cannot tell you right now. Well, actually, like uh, the operation capability of the VLS is very important for the strategic approach for Rock Navy, because like we have uh, two noisy neighbors and officers, so we have to prepare that, be prepared that with a multiple lethal weapon, which such as a VLSM. In case of the budget tree, uh, batch lithium battery has a long life, so it doesn't need to, I mean, replace in a short period, such as a, a radiated battery, and also a battery safe, and then there's a long endurance uh, compared with the uh, radiated battery. There's more than double, I think. Especially in uh, submarine industry, we've been ambitious, has an ambition for the designing in, uh, indigenously, so we reached 80 percent, which helped the low boost the uh, local industry in Korea and then give us uh, more uh, technical independency, which we can provide at our technology transfer to other country, which is an exporting market as well. Actually, we've been dealing with the uh, Rock Navy for 40 years, uh, starting from the scratch for the submarine industry. And then we are listening more clients' voices. They need more uh, spaces and also long endurance as well. So we are uh, adapted with the uh, current design, modi modification of design with the long, I mean, much wider spaces, also with Timion Barry, including AIP as well, which is a pure cell. Canada has uh, bigger than Korea around 45 times. They have a world longest uh, coastline. Uh, KS3 submarine, KS submarine has a uh, long endurance, which it can patrol all around the Canadian uh, maritime area as well. So I think that's the give us uh, give, uh, the KS3 is special. Also, most important thing is our submarine is proven solution, which is currently two of the submarines are operational, and it's not like a paper submarine as well. And also, we are Hanwha as a Hanwha. We have a variety uh, solution for the defense, including the renewable energy, which is benefit for the Canadian uh, economy benefit as well. So let's put it this way: without uh, AIP, cannot achieve the long endurance. AIP is a key component for the modern uh, conventional submarine. So actually, indigenous is developed by the, our pure cell AIP, give us longer endurance, uh, and the plus with the lithium-ion battery. Uh, combined with the AIP and lithium ion battery, it's a total game changer for the conventional submarine. Uh, Canada has a different requirements such as like gender-based analysis. Uh, we adapted, uh, adapted uh, Korean Navy's uh, requirement as well. Uh, as I mentioned previously, we have a spacious uh, space inside the submarine. So I think definitely we can accommodate uh, the crew members, which is with the different genders as well. So uh, this is the lithium-ion battery system that actually uh, there's only two companies that install the lithium-ion battery system into the submarine. We can actually modify our lithium-ion battery system per the specific requirements of the end user. So the, we can provide the, a lot of flexibility on the configuration perspective or any of the operational perspective. So comparing to the lead acid battery system, lithium ion battery system definitely provide much more values to the end user because on the full ahead mode, it actually provides 300% more range of the full ahead mode. And at the cruise mode, it providing 106% more range of it when comparing to the lead acid battery system. So for example, if there's need of the joint operation that could coming from the NATO nations or that can coming from the ECOS that like United States and Canadian or any other nations that need the joint operation on the Arctic Sea, 
this is the something that you wanted because you definitely have to get to the point at the full ahead mode, but you don't want to compromise any of the survivability. So 300% more range with the full ahead mode. And that's definitely no brainer for every end user. I don't want anyone to have the concerns related to the safety feature when this goes into the submarine. So we came up with the very novel solutions. We put multiple layers of the safety system. So you can see all this cell tray, even the cell tray do have very specific the safety layer. So if anything that indicate any risk of the thermal runaway, that system just turn it off this cell tray. We put all this cell tray into the module and you can see this here, this is battery management system. So we, we do have very novel algorithm related to the state of charge and state of the health. And we can indicate with a very specific knowledge when this have the risk of the thermal runaway. So if we indicate that signal, we just turn it off this module right away. So that's the second safety layer. But we still know there might be some kind of the issues even with a double safety layer. So we put all this together and make a string. Even the string does have the battery management system. So if the string shows any indication of the thermal runaway, we just turn that off the string. And we integrate the strings all together to make a group. So there's group one and group two usually. And if there's anything happens with the group number one, and we just turn it up to group number one. But you, we still have the group number two, so you can actually have these uh, fail-safe operation. So you can still have very good survivability and you can get back to home with the group number one. This is the probability of more than 10 power to the negative nine around that probability. So I, I, I can say there's no probability of the fire, but what, what if? What if there's fire? So this the our fire extinguishing system come in. So we have very unique fire extinguishing system. So if this module have the thermal runaway, we put in our very specific uh, fire extinguishing material into the module. So I don't think that's the case, but if there's fire, we can contain in the module level and we can just replace this module. It's easy. And comparing to the lead acid battery system, the life of the, lead, the lithium ion battery system is much easier. So lead acid battery system, you need the like monthly checkup, full discharge and full charge of the monthly checkup. But this lithium ion battery system, is just put it in and forget about it. So it has much better operational uh, point of the advantage that coming in. So it makes your life much easier. So uh, I, I'm, if everyone knows what kind of safety level we're actually having with this lithium ion battery system, I think everyone will love to have this lithium ion battery system. But I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit, bit expensive comparing to the lead acid battery system, but the life cycle is two times longer. So when you see the operation cost, you will actually save money. That's something that I want to emphasize. So it's no brainer, it's safe. You have much better tactical advantage and make your life easy. And in long term, you will save money.